If you're a junior dev, first of all, congrats. You made it through the tutorial hell gauntlet, got past the imposter syndrome boss battle, and maybe even landed your first job. But let's talk about the next level, not embarrassing yourself in front of your team. Because being junior doesn't mean clueless, but some of the mistakes juniors make definitely scream, I copy-pasted this from Stack Overflow and prayed. So let's walk through some of the most common pitfalls new devs fall into, starting with everyone's favorite, over-engineering. Oh, and before we start the video, I got some good news for you codeheads. I made a Discord server where we can all hang out, share memes, and help each other. So hurry up, join using the link in the description or by scanning this QR code. All right, back to the video. One of the classic mistakes junior devs make is trying to be too clever. You've learned about design patterns, solid principles, microservices, and suddenly your weather app has 14 classes, three layers of abstraction, and a Bruh. Kafka pipeline. And the worst part? It doesn't even work yet. Simplicity beats cleverness every time. Juniors often feel the need to prove themselves, but ironically, writing clean, dumb code that just works is way more senior than trying to build a distributed system for a to-do list. Take this as gospel. If you need to draw a diagram to explain your code, it's probably overkill. Another mistake? Not asking questions. Look, nobody expects you to know everything, but they do expect you to communicate. The silent junior dev who struggles for five hours with a bug that a senior could fix in 30 seconds is not a hero. They're just slowing down the sprint. Ask questions, even if they seem dumb. Just please ask them after Googling at least once. There's a difference between I've looked into it but need help understanding and what is a promise in JavaScript at your standup. Then there's the issue of ignoring documentation, both reading and writing it. Juniors tend to treat docs like vegetables. They know it's good for them, but avoid it anyway. The reality is, reading documentation makes you faster, and writing it makes you... You know who gets promoted? The dev who writes a clean function and then adds a comment that saves another dev an hour of debugging. If your code needs a blood ritual to understand, you've failed future you and everyone else. Next up, Git. Or more accurately, abusing Git like it's a personal dumping ground. You should not be pushing straight to main with a commit message that says, final version fixed maybe. Learn to use branches. Learn how to write commit messages that make sense. Fixed stuff is not helpful when you're rolling back a production bug at 3 a.m. Also, don't be that person who merges without reviewing or understanding what's actually in the pull request. It's not a blind date. Read it. Let's talk about testing, or lack thereof. Juniors tend to either write zero tests or write tests that test literally nothing. Like yes, good job, your function returns true when you pass true, but does it work in edge cases? Can it handle garbage input? Seniors don't necessarily write more tests. They write smarter ones. Learn how to write a test that catches real bugs, not just ones that make you feel good. A huge one, fear of breaking things. Juniors often treat the code base like a museum artifact. They're afraid to touch anything. But part of growing is realizing that code is meant to change. You're allowed to refactor. You're allowed to delete things. Obviously, do it safely. Do it with version control. But don't let fear turn you into a keyboard statue. Every senior dev has broken production at least once. The goal isn't perfection, it's learning how to recover gracefully. And now, maybe the most overlooked mistake of all, building generic, boring projects. Junior devs often stick to tutorials and end up with the same three apps, a to-do list, a weather app, and a calculator. None of that shows creativity or problem-solving skills. If you want to stand out, build something weird, something fun, something that makes people go, wait, you built that? Employers aren't looking for another crud form wizard. They're looking for devs who can think independently and solve real problems creatively, which is why this is the perfect moment to shout out today's sponsor, Code Crafters. Their platform gives you access to unique projects that will help you stand out from the competition without the clown shoes and nose. Want to build an HTTP or DNS server from scratch? Check. Hell, you can even craft your own version of Git. All while others are still struggling to center that annoying div in their to-do app. You can start some projects free of charge, and if you use my link in the description, you can get yourself a whopping 40% off, so hurry up. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to share and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.